Today is the day, well, at least for the next 24 hours, I've decided to get my life back on track and do a fast. This is for spiritual and health purposes. And for so long, I've been neglecting my body, eating so much crap on a day-to-day, all out of habit. It became my norm. I'd feel hungry, let me grab a snack instead of making something with nutrients. Too lazy to cook, i get fast food. Whatever was convenient until one day, it started to catch up to me, and that's when my body started to take a toll on me bad. So today, I'm challenging myself, and even you, if you feel a fast is needed in your life. Trying something new and even uncomfortable could always be beneficial in the long run. Something to fast from like your favorite snack, a person, a social media platform, hell, just an overall distraction. What's the worst that can happen, right? for my mind and body before anything is to spend some quality time with God. Choosing gratefulness even when it's hard, letting go of excuses, and trusting that God's way is better. One-on-one time creates a vulnerable place and also allows me to strengthen my relationship with Him while I wait to hear from Him. And even though sometimes it's hard to hear God's voice when you've already decided what you want to say, I'm trying to let God be God and let Him work. Hey guys, so it's been about 13 hours. We are about to eat something because I didn't eat anything yet and it's almost one o'clock. I've been fasting for a good while and um, I drank two bottles of water. I had a banana before I went to sleep last night and now we're gonna try the overnight oats. I'm hoping that it tastes good. First time trying it this way. Usually I cheat and do the maple brown sugar. So fingers crossed, did it taste like something? Even though I have not so good things in my refrigerator right now that I can easily just cheat and do it. I'm really trying to be real with myself, keep it real with myself and show myself that despite what's going on around me, my mind is stronger than any distraction. Even if it's right in front of me, I have the choice of which way I wanna go. And this relationship I've been building with God has really been helping me because alone time with him just teaches me more, I'm able to listen to him and walk the way that I know is the right way. Still working, still not where I need to be, but I feel a sense of when I have God working in my life, I'm not stressing as much as I usually would because I know that when things are in my face that are a little hard, pretty meeting me halfway there. I wanted to do this fast just for 24 hours because I just feel like I needed some clarity and um, the only person that's going to give it to me is God. For me, it's not realistic to fast every day, personally. I think that would be just too drastic to start off for somebody like me. You know, you want to start off small with anything to see how it works, how your body reacts. But so far, so good. We're holding on strong. My stomach's hungry. I do want some waffles and some eggs right now, but we're going to ride this wave out because you can do whatever you put your mind to. It's all about being disciplined and also removing things that will stop you from those goals and things that you feel like you want to do for yourself. Not everybody's going to be wanting to do what you're doing. That's okay. That's not their time. Or maybe it's just not meant for them. It's something I feel God put on my heart for me to do. Just to cleanse myself from just... If I cut out what I'm plugged from the world. Oh, shit. It smells good. I'm worried that the, uh, the oats weren't going to be nice and like soft. But believe it or not, they're literally soft. I took my time with it. So let's just see. Let's give it a taste. Not bad. The only thing I forgot to use was yogurt. I knew something was missing. I forgot yogurt, but I feel like this is good. I don't drink milk. I'm not heavy on milk. I got introduced to oat milk when I tried matcha, and I really liked it. So I was worried about me tasting the milk in this. And it's just creamy, honestly. Really good. I probably would swap out the the apples though, but the strawberries and the blueberries and the bananas make it taste really good. Really? On my shirt? That's how you know it's good.
the second meal of the day and I'm not gonna lie I'm absolutely famished I'm starving but again I know that I can get through this is just a 24 hour fast I'm more than halfway through this fast so I decided to go with something that's gonna help with inflammation so I decided to go with a green juice and I also so proud of myself because I ordered some of these cute little containers which I'm a little disappointed because they're not the size I wanted this is supposed to be a four ounce and it's given like two but I can use these for like ginger shots stuff like that and also for juju I was actually going for a six ounce six to eight ounce you know just something real quick for me you know how you can meal prep we're gonna juice prep I got something better for y'all y'all I got me a new juicer okay look at her I don't know what I'm gonna name her yet now don't get me wrong I'm gonna still keep my magic bullet I ain't gonna do my baby like that but I needed to upgrade and I got this off of Amazon as well because if this is going to become like a lifestyle for me and like I'm trying to really transform and change my my diet for real, for real, you're going to have to invest in yourself some way. I don't really know too much about this brand, but I was looking for something that was like a slow juicer. So this is a feeding slow masticating juicer. It's five seconds quick wash. It is low speed but high juice and also large feeding port so I can juice more than enough at one time. Celery is supposed to be really good for inflammation. We have some Granny Smith apples. Got a good old lime. Got some pears. Pears are my absolute favorite. And we also got some baby spinach. I was going to do kale, but kale is so bitter. And I was just like, mmm. And to make it taste a little better and to give me a little sweetener because I'm so hungry right now, I may just go in and add a honey crisp or two just to give it that taste so that it's not too tangy or sour. Best feature to me, honestly, is that you don't have to worry about cutting your fruits and produce tiny. You can just drop a whole apple in your leg. Look, I have multiple pieces of fruit at one time. The magic bullet, I couldn't do that. I had to, I had to cut them in little baby pieces. So that was a little more time consuming. Nothing else, even if I renege and go back to eating poorly, what I'm never going to stop doing is, baby, I'm never going to give up on juicing. So definitely check it out on Amazon. I'll link it in my Amazon storefront. I'm good, I'm good. just gonna experiment i tried it it's so bomb but i'm gonna put these in the fridge and let them get really nice and cold for like 10 minutes because baby i'm so hungry but i just wanted to show you guys how easy it is and you know keep your mind busy i'm so excited to do this honestly this makes my fast much easier especially because it was very easy it's convenient now i can just grab and go and it is also healthy for my body so even if i'm not really eating a lot and i'm staying away from the junk food and the fast foods at least i'm putting something good in my body this is going to hold me over for a little bit, but we'll figure out our next meal. But I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to put this in the fridge for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to try it. For the little ones, I'm going to just put apples in it and just give it apples and a little bit of spinach and just give it to the kids. Try some. Ooh. Your muscles are getting so big. Let me see your muscles. Let me see you flex the muscles real quick. You gotta, yeah, you gotta flex. Like, show them what you're talking about. Gotta be healthy and drink this so get some muscle. You should drink this. It's very good and it's healthy. And what does it do when you drink it? Get you muscle. Yeah. You, push you could do some push-ups. Can you do some push-ups? Fine. Let me see if you could do I don't even know if you could do push-ups like that. We gotta work on the push-ups, Pop. Pop. Okay. Okay. One. <laughs> two. So, do you know what it is? Yeah. I don't have issues with Larry. Larry does pretty good. With okay. No, you gotta gulp it. I did. That was a sip. Can you taste the celery in it? 
Vernon, it's that ginger. It's that raw ginger. It's going to get the gut all the way together. That's good. I can taste the celery a little bit. But it's not unbearable. I feel like the ginger is the only thing that was like spiking in the back of my throat. was giving like sore throat without having sore throat. That's good. I'll yeah? drink it. You would drink it every single day? So if I stop buying Minute Maid and Tropicana, you drink that every day? No, because like, I would still drink it, but I was want other things too. Best for last. All right, Mia. Give it a try. I know you're not a fan of juicing. It smells like broccoli. It does not because there's no broccoli to be found in that juice. You're a big girl. Now do like that or we're giving a knuckle sandwich. Oh, you don't want a knuckle sandwich. Take a goat, Mia. Come on, just act like it's... I want to give you a knuckle sandwich, it's you It's slushy. I'll give you one. It's oh, sour. Yeah, it's a Granny Smith. You said you just wanted apples. Let me see if you're drinking it. Let me get close up because I didn't see you swallow it. I did. guys so the last clip i was juicing i drank that and then before i knew it i fell asleep which i think was very much needed unfortunately when i woke up it was a whole hot mess because i had a whole allergy attack so i had to take a shower wash my face like it was just a mess because my eyes were not stop itching post nasal drip it was just it's giving hectic okay and on top of me doing this fast and just not being able to eat the stuff that I want is just causing me a whole bunch of havoc and a headache. Another juice this one is different. This is like strawberry spinach and um, I think I put a pear in it. So I'm going to just take this with me. I think I yeah, put a little bit of celery in it. When you juice, you can only leave it in for like three days because it loses oxidation and then like the nutrients go. These things survive and this is so good. And I feel like this is the perfect, this is the perfect amount. But I feel like there's little pre pieces of debris, little pieces of fruit at the bottom. I don't know what's that floating in the bottom of it. I took a Zyrtec. Hopefully it's going to work in the next few minutes because when I get an allergy attack, my eyes are the first thing that go, but they get really puffy. And I get like this bubble inside. So I was just not, I was like, not today, Satan. Like we, we're already fasting. We like, we don't need any more distractions. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find us a good place to eat because my fast is not me starving myself. My fast is me not eating the stuff that I want to eat. This is bottle number, I want to say bottle number four. I forgot how many bottles you're supposed to drink, but I know it's like half of your body weight or something like that. But I mean, I don't really struggle with water, but I like my ginger ale. I like my ginger ale, and I have a big one right I have a two-liter right there. And I also like my vitamin waters, but water it is. Plus, it's making a skin glow, okay? So I'm here for it. I'm looking at this Mediterranean spot. It looks really good, and it's different for me, and... I would like to go to a cookout right now and give me a burger and I'll reroute. So I'm going to get out of this house because I find that my kitchen is surrounded and flooded with chips ahoy and pizzas and waffles and stuff that I can just grab. And I feel like I'm being tempted. It's, a, it's so much of a temptation. So we're going to go out, get some air, maybe find somewhere to eat and um, get us some more greens. Because that's really what today is going to entail. A lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables and patience and determination I'm almost there like i'm halfway there the battle is halfway done I'm in my car because it's just so beautiful honestly and nobody's bothering me is it me or does water make you hungrier like and i can only drink water when it's really really cold like it has to be real chilled but when i drink water it just feels like it makes me more hungrier and i get more gas some people say they drink water, and when they drink a lot of water, it makes them full. That's a, that, that don't work for me. I'm just, I don't know. When you have time by yourself, it allows you to have more clarity and more understanding. And I just feel like this fast that I decided to do, whether it was for such a short period of time or whether I decided to do it for, you know, 21 days, is God's plan. He put this on my heart to do. And I think that's what's making it easier for me to get through it, even though I feel like it's a little bit of a struggle. But in all reality, it's not as bad as we think it is when you need to fast from certain things. I feel like that's what the problem is with the world. We're so distracted by things that we see on social media, how people are living, what people are really doing. And honestly, it's not realistic. It's not realistic certain people's lifestyles and I was reading something and I saw this scripture I think it's by Galatians yeah I, I don't have my scriptures down packed yet but 
Galatians chapter 5, 22 through 23. Faith, love, and peace. Pray, Father, I am going to choose to believe you are in control of my life and will enable me to pay this bill. I know you love me and I won't be discouraged by this. I choose peace instead of anxiety. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Before we can really grow the fruits of the Spirit in our lives, we need to pull the weeds of sinful nature. All types of sin are hurtful to our soul and what God wants to grow in us. Fruits of the Spirit grow in our lives, not when we try harder, but when we walk in step with God's Spirit. Amen. I'm good, I'm good. Hey, yo, he said that he will never change. And he never changed. He remains the same every single day. Yesterday's the day I let him hold my hand and I follow. My first time trying Mediterranean food. I don't even know what I got, but I got a little bit of spinach, a little bit of, I think it's tzatziki sauce. Um, tzatziki sauce, some feta cheese, some chicken. And they gave me some salsa and also some cucumber, lime, mint juice. So we shall see. I'm going to eat it anyway because I'm hungry. So we're going we gonna to see. Let me show you guys a close-up. This is like a balsamic um, dressing. I was afraid to put it on my whole thing in case if I didn't like it. But it looks pretty good. so much that was my first time ever trying mediterranean food if you would have asked me to try this a year ago i would have been i would have literally been turning my nose up and i see me transitioning in such a beautiful way i sometimes don't even know who i am and i'm learning that on my journey with god he's transforming me i didn't even see it until certain things were you know happening or i was faced with certain difficult situations and i didn't handle it like i normally would this was very necessary for me because even though it was a short fast and most people don't really get anything out of it this was something that was intentional and this was something that god put on my heart for me to do and i was obedient when you fast it has to be something that is intentional nothing forced because you're not going to reap the benefits from it and the more I get closer with God, the more he's showing up for me and the more he's showing me things in a more clearer way. I was looking for clarity by doing this. I felt like my heart was a little heavy. I was battling certain things just in my mind, overthinking certain things, and I felt like I wasn't in a comfortable space. These couple of hours of me just letting go of certain things, not being around certain distractions like social media, looking at other people's lives or comparing myself to certain things, not consuming junk food that you know, harms my body, feel much better. And honestly, my body, my stomach hasn't hurt me in all of this time. I literally would wake up and have been waking up with gut issues for so many years and literally be draining. But I realized that your gut is a part of your brain. So when your gut is off, it throws everything off. I really could get used to this whole healthy eating thing, even though it's something different. And the fact that I didn't fold, even when I felt like I was hitting points where I was super hungry or I wanted a Pepsi or I wanted to go get some McDonald's I didn't I didn't do it because I feel like God will change you let's just say that God is God can change you God can work miracles in your life as you know he has done it time and time again and I just feel like it's only right for me to put the work in if he's always there for me and he's so faithful fasting once in a blue is the least I can do be obedient and just thank him thank him for all of my accomplishments even if it's just the littlest ones, I'm so thankful for all of the things that God has done in my life and the way he's molding me. I could get emotional right now and I'm not, but you would have to experience it. And I, I think I'm getting emotional because I wasn't always like this. I was very angry. I was very hard headed and I just was stuck in my ways like many of us are. And it wasn't until certain things started to have to happen in my life for me to really be awoke and be more mindful like these are not conducive these behaviors are not going to get you anywhere change is something that has to come from within yourself that's what i realized you have to put the work in and you have to really discipline and 
if you don't like where you are and you feel like you're stuck, only you can get yourself from being unstuck. I just feel like I needed a day to just change like my routine, change how I eat, change how I talk, change what it is that I do throughout the day. And it's making a difference. If I can do this 24 hour fast and I feel like this already, I can only imagine what fasting for 48 hours would do or even, you know, 21 days. But I know that my journey with God is my journey. So everybody's journey or path is different. There's no specific time or way that you need to, you know, walk with God. Your own personal relationship with him. And that's what I'm learning. Because I was comparing myself to other people with their faith. And I was like, well, why don't I, you know, why can't I see things like that? But it's not for me because God knows exactly what he's doing. This is bottle number four. I have one more bottle to go, and I think that's it. I have been peeing so much, which is really good. Just things that I'm not used to. Like, I'm saying all this, and you're probably like, this is regular. It's not regular for me because I've been eating so poorly, and I've been just horrible, not feeding myself properly that now I see. Like, I'm more mindful of what it is. I'm looking at the back of the ingredients. I never, I never would do that. I would literally just see something I liked and ate it, not even realizing that those ingredients are they're hurting me. And so, again, I shared with you guys in my other video, my previous video, that I've been having some health issues. So I feel like this was a wake-up call for me. I have to take control of my life and control of my health. Unfortunately, it had to be for me to end up going to doctors and having things go wrong for me to try to, like, get a hold of myself. I'm hoping I can make this a lifestyle for me. And I'm, I'm hoping that this video helps you, too, if you want to fast for a day from something. It could just be your phone. It could be from, you know, lust. It could be from even a relationship, a friend, food like I did. I didn't, I'm not starving myself, but I fasted from things that I know were not good and things that are hard for me to say no to. I know if you fasted and how you felt after or what it is that you fasted from. But yeah, I'm gonna close the video all here. My fast is pretty much done within like another hour or so. So if I want to, I could cheat, but I like the way I feel. I like this version of me. I feel happier, healthier. And I feel like my head is not all scattered and all over the place. So God is proud of me with any of my accomplishments. It's coming from him. It's his work. It's his word. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different, different content, but whatever God places on my heart, that's the content that I want to put out. Content that makes me feel good and also content that can also help you. Remember, it's a choice, but a choice only you can be ready for. Simply share, simply share. Oh, oh, oh.